The pain of losing a child, especially a young baby, has got to be unbearable. And for those of us who haven't had to live through it, absolutely unimaginable. Well, one mother knows firsthand that everything about losing a child is painful. But there was one detail in particular about her daughter's funeral that would trouble her for years. So she decided to make it her mission. Now she has a plan to make sure other families never have to go through what she did. Any seamstress will tell you that theirs is a labor of love. I think it's a dying talent. So what you would call the work of this group. It okay, looks perfect. It's perfect. It's hard to define. It's beyond words. I mean, I was speechless. Harper Green's daughter, Brooklyn, was born on Christmas Day 2004. She had a, a congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Two days later, she died. Um, I just remember them walking in after they did the ultrasound and looking at me and, and saying, we're so sorry. Leaving the hospital empty-handed, Harper was tasked with planning a funeral for her firstborn. But when looking for a gown in which to bury her baby, she found options online were expensive and wouldn't come in time. Nurses told her she could dress Brooklyn in a doll's outfit or go to the mall. I remember the young gal, probably college age, that walked over to me and with a huge smile asking me, you know, if it was a boy or a girl and what I was shopping for and to respond and look at her and, and explain that I was looking for a, a burial gown for my little girl. It was very, very hard. It was pain that led Harper here. And then do I try to pull? I really wanted just a beautiful, beautiful gown that she could wear. Creating outfits called angel gowns. She launched Brooklyn's gift, giving to other babies what her daughter never had. What we're creating is what I envisioned 10 years ago that my daughter deserved, and I didn't have it available to me, nor did I have the talents to create it. This is a gift. Jody Green is Harper's mom. Just to be able to hopefully help a family through the, one of the most difficult things they'll have to face means everything. Made from donated wedding dresses, the group set their goal, hoping to collect 10 wedding dresses in one year. And every piece of the gown will be used. It was their surprise when in just months they had more than 40. Every day more come through the church door and, and women are dropping them off. Yeah, you guys can pick. Finally, a trip to the hospital to deliver a gift they hope not to give. You're our first delivery, so thanks oh, for allowing us to come oh, in and share this gift with you and your family. This is one thing that they're not going to have to worry about. For a mother who knows you can't mend a broken heart, a gift has been found in helping with others' heartbreak. She's also helped her own. It brings a sense of joy and love to my heart that I, I never thought possible. Harper will soon have her own wedding dress made into an angel gown. She says the gown will be the one Brooklyn should have had. Wow. It's hard to wrap my brain around that whole thing. That's kind of hard. Mm. Well, from mending a broken heart to mending a broken relationship. Relationships have to be reinvented just like people do. Up next, we're going to learn six easy ways that you can get back on track. Plus, what about you and your partner getting back on track when it comes to health? Up next, we learn the impact a loving partner may have on your heart. We also get to the bottom of broken heart syndrome. Really, is that a thing? Sean's hanging out with some cute faces that could mend a broken heart, Sean. <laughs> And guys, this is Gator. He's one of the biggest cats I have ever seen. He weighs almost 20 pounds. He's here at the Humane Society of Wicomico County, and he's looking for a forever home. Coming up, I'll tell you a little more about him. Del Marble Live will be right back.